Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is October 10th of 2017. Uh, I think this is the second <laughs> uh, video I've made this month, and the first video I made this month, I said I was going to uh, try to do a video every day. And here it is, the 10th, and this is my second video, I think. Actually, I did make another one. I made a massively long video. I don't. I know it was over an hour and a half. It was a long video, and I went. Uh, I got really sidetracked. I'm gonna promise not to do it this time. Uh, so I uploaded it to YouTube, or attempted to uploaded it, uh, and it got to 44% uploaded, and it was just sitting at. Uh, 44%, 44%. I took a nap. It was still 44%, so I canceled it out. And I'm really glad I did it because I rambled and I got, I told you some of the stories that I told before. And I'm, I was, I have a tendency of when I make a video and upload it, that's it. Uh, I don't go back and usually delete it uh, and I just let it stand and for some situations I probably shouldn't do it but for some when some things have happened like the uh, Trayvon Martin shooting or whatever right away because something was said or reported I uh, put my two cents in on the subject and then immediately you know how at first you don't get all the information and there's stuff so some of the things I said were uh, inaccurate or something I can't remember exactly the details but I left it up because it was you know an old fat white man's opinion at that time at first opinion at that time and I thought, you know, okay, this is, this tells you, you know, so you can come and you can see the first impressions of a old white man in this, in this situation. And uh, now I'm not sorry about anything that I said, I, because I was working with the information that I had. But that's the same with, I've got a whole bunch of videos, I think like 700 videos here. And uh, from the very beginning, I was, I think, YouTube started in 2005 and I was doing videos in 2005. So there are videos here that, uh, you know, the cameras weren't as good then, the audio wasn't as good then, and of course it definitely wasn't uh, 4K or even 1080, And but I still leave them because it's a little bit of a record of, you know, I mentioned the cameras that I was using and that type of stuff. I mentioned this before. Uh, one of the videos, I think it was a, one of the early Logitech cameras. Uh, I usually remembered to turn off the automatic tracking, but I had I left the automatic track, so I'm doing my uh, my video, and the camera keeps going to my crotch. <laughs> and uh, had somebody had at least one person, I think several people, leave a thing in the comment section. Why are you aiming the uh, camera at your crotch? You know, well I wasn't. It was just automatically tracking, looking for, you know, I guess I have a face that looks like a crotch or something. So I usually leave my videos alone. There have been a few times that I've gone and deleted something for some reason, but usually not. I've got a bunch of videos here for cameras that are nobody would want now, you know, that I paid good money for, but we've come so far with cameras. Uh... I guess let's get on with the video. Um, Going to show you a video here. It's very short. I made it with this uh, Panasonic FZ200. And what happened is my son and I went, uh, we live right behind an apartment right behind the electric cowboy here in Fort Worth. And my son and I walked over to the dollar store and picked up some stuff. And on the way over, I noticed that uh, 
there were bullet holes. I, I noticed glass had been broken out and they had to put up plywood. Uh, and there were uh, bullet holes in the glass. And what I didn't notice, anyway, I, I went back home and then I got my camera and walked down and made this short video. Uh, kind of shows. Uh, the air, we live in West Fort Worth in an apartment. The apartment complex we live in is great. The ladies who run the uh, run the thing screen people, and they uh, they don't allow any uh, shenanigans or allow somebody that you know if you cause some kind of trouble, you're you know you're out. And uh, so we don't have any trouble at all zero. On the next street over, there are a whole bunch of apartment complexes. It's Las Vegas Trail in West Fort Worth, and it has a terrible reputation. I should have linked to, there was a, an article in the Fort Worth newspaper saying that the Fort Worth Police Department where, you know, they were cracking down on the entire uh, street they uh, there's a I never noticed it or saw it but there's a uh, like a motel and they've had complaints for years and they're finally the, the police department in the city are finally fed up and have told the person who owns it or whatever you know clean this place up and we don't want any more problems, or we're going. To, you know, you're going to lose your license to do business. But uh, like I said, in the apartment complex, where you know it's a gated. Well, most all of them, I think, around here are gated communities. But uh, we don't. We, we live in a nice area, a nice apartment complex. But just a street over, uh, there was uh, there's problems. And, but anyway. Um, let me show you this video. Anyway, I, I saw that in this apartment con or this uh, strip mall, they have a hard time renting out spaces. And I think what happened, it was before I came, came here, uh, West Fort Worth had an, an air base, U.S. air base, uh, a big one. Uh, and so a lot of people moved, you know, to Fort Worth and to West Fort Worth near the air base. And I think a lot of business people, you know, built things like strip malls and things like that to, and then the uh, government shut, well, they didn't shut it down. They made it a reserve base and very few people at the reserve base and I guess they got too many business sites and things like that. And so, anyway, let me show you. Well, and this is right. Oh, one of the reasons I haven't made any videos that I, I thought I was going to make is oh, the depressing news. Uh, the embarrassing president that we that we have. It's. Everything is just such bad news, and then the you know the shooting in Las Vegas and everything. I just don't feel like making, didn't feel like making any videos, but I did make this because everybody talked. You know, we had the shooting in Las Vegas, and uh, people talk about all the shootings in the United States and. You know, the difference between the number of shootings and things in the United States and the UK and the United States and Australia and the United, you know, uh, and the amount of private gun ownership and the type of guns and all that. So I just wanted to show you, you know, here's the, a block away from where I live. And uh, I don't know when this happened because it's been so hot. By the way, it's really going to be get, get, get down, I think, to 50s or 40 tonight here. But it's been so hot, I haven't been 
I haven't felt like walking over to the dollar store except I did the other day with my son and haven't felt like walking down to Walgreens to pick up prescriptions. My son has been doing it for me, but let me show you this video. But, oh, you notice? Uh, did you notice the police car? Hours ago, I walked over to the dollar store. Uh, very seldom. Well, there's a great barbecue place down at the end of this shopping center, and I see police cars down there all the time, parked and in there eating, you know. But uh, don't see very often a police car driving. Th I, before, well, you didn't see it, but you know, it drives slowly along, you know, there, and uh, so. Anyway, here we go. Oh, by the way, Camp Boy is Boulevard is right there. It runs east and west. A couple hours ago, I walked over to the uh, dollar store, which is see the wood paneling here, the plywood that's been put up, and you'll see some plywood like also down here. These place, these little glass places here have been smashed from time to time. I don't really think it's somebody breaking in, maybe I'm wrong, to, to steal something. I got a feeling it might just be somebody that's homeless because there's not much in there. You know, these are all vacant here. But they haven't been usually breaking out these big windows here. right down there. That dance studio is not here anymore. They Shortly after I moved here, they moved out. They, they were renting two or three big spaces there. I think you can see the green sign that says Dollar Store. Well, when I walked over here, I saw that this place had had some, this mall here, had had some windows broken and there are bullet holes in the glass. So, not sure what happened, but something happened. I'm not sure when it, uh, when it took place. Howdy. Pretty good. Let's see. Here they are. Okay, you're going to get a little bit better view of them. Here they are. What I did not notice until I took this video home and looked at it, here are three additional holes. Now, I, I can't swear 100% that these are bullet holes. I'm convinced they are, but you know, I wouldn't go into court and say these are bullet holes. <laughs> these are definitely bullet holes, and I'm convinced these are too. I didn't notice it. I was looking through the viewfinder or the LCD screen on this uh, camera. So, three bullet holes. There's one. There's two and three. So since this is boarded up over here, and this is boarded up, and this is boarded up, must have happened right in this area. These are vacant, vacant buildings here. Occasionally somebody will break one of these lower windows out here. Okay, that's all. I don't need to show you, but it, it, a short, I finally made a short video. Uh, by the way, um, You know, I, I've i canceled in the past uh, cable television, and I just have the internet, 60 megs down and 5 up, waiting for AT&T to turn on their fiber optics. They've got the cable out on the street, but they haven't hooked into any of the places. Uh, it's going to be expensive, it, but I'm ready to pay the money for the fiber optic fast, internet service. But anyway, I canceled whatever I had of cable television. and But I do use, uh, you know, Netflix and Amazon Prime 
and Hulu. And I think that's it. I also have a Roku television set, so I get a bunch of stuff because of uh, because of that. Well, uh, Hulu had a special last weekend, I think it was, uh, seven days of free, no, a free weekend of um, HBO to show you, you know, and uh, it was for the weekend. And my ex-wife, who we share this apartment, and my son, grown son also, uh, helps with expenses. Uh, she watches television nonstop. And so they had, you didn't, all you had to do was just say you wanted it. No, didn't have to fill anything out or anything for uh, three days. So she was going to try to watch Ever, she'd never seen Game of Thrones and she was going to try to um, watch them all and we lost electricity uh, the thing started on Friday night sometime it was to go to till Sunday morning or Monday morning and we lost electric power for which is kind of unusual for that long we lost it for over no, it wasn't electric power. It was internet. Yeah, we lost internet for over eight hours. And so, anyway, then uh, I went ahead and signed up for the seven days free of HBO and through Hulu. And then uh, she falls asleep. My ex-wife falls asleep watching television. And she keeps going back and with Game of Thrones, you know. She was just falling asleep all the time, so. And she said, oh, I really wanted to. So I went ahead and signed up for the tree. And then before, in a couple of days later, I went ahead and just went to him and said, yep, sign me up for the, uh, for the thing. So, uh, so we now have HBO. But we don't have HBO the Champ TV Live, we just have access to all their movies and all the uh, TV shows that they have, that they create or whatever. So, um, I'm really tired of hearing about this Las Vegas gunman. But I, like everybody else, I'm curious as to why. That's what I am curious about, you know, about is why he did it. Here the latest thing, well the latest thing was yesterday they announced it. Uh, up on the floor where he was, uh, he shot a hotel security officer. And that was five minutes before, out in the hallway I guess. And that was five, we don't, they didn't give any details. That was five minutes before he started shooting. So he shot the hotel security officer, and then five minutes later he started. So that sort of changed the timeline. Now they mentioned before that uh, right away they mentioned that uh, they had shut down the airport. That was the very beginning. So the people at the airport and whatever were pretty smart. They said they were they shut down the airport. I don't know. If they shut that airport totally down for passengers, but they were checking to make sure that none of the bullets had hit something over there, you know. And they found that uh, apparently they uh, he had fired at a jet fuel uh, tank or a truck, you know. Does I'm not sure how it works, but so. Uh, Uh, let's see, what else did I want to... Well, also, if you've been following all my videos, I talk about... Uh, you know, I want a new camera. This is fine. You know, I have two cameras, and both of them I have not indulged in learning how to do everything. I haven't... Uh, I just, I'm lazy. I just put it on auto, usually. 
and I don't delve into really how I'm doing everything and using, but I want something more powerful that has more features that I won't understand, and I just keep. Uh, but then with all these new cell phones coming out, and they have fantastic cameras on them, this is not a, this is a blue, has a fantastic battery on it. I forget what it's called, the model number, but I'm really happy with this, except it has, I'm starting for the first time to have some lockup problems with I, and I think that's because the apps, they keep, you know, they update these apps, which I'm glad of, but I think the apps just keep getting bigger and bigger. And this has three gigabytes. That's been fine for years. And uh, now I'm starting to have problems, and I uh, I recognize the problems. It's the same when I had a the phone before this was I liked too. It was fine for me. I don't. I never use a cell phone. Almost never use the cell phone part. And I don't watch any movies on it. I don't even watch YouTube on it. Uh, but it was a two gigabyte memory and it started having that kind of problem. Now I've got a, th you know, I have a three gigabyte and now the problem is set in. So, you know, I'm thinking, well, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to try to take pictures. I know they have fantastic cameras in the cell phones now, but I don't want to be taking videos or even pictures with this is great to have with me and I've got some great pictures because it's in my pocket and then I see something and I take a picture of it and it, it turns out well but I don't want to spend I don't want to be I still want you know I still want a compact uh, camera and this is the uh, LX7, I think it is. It's expensive. They have an LX10 now. I would like to have the LX10, but I just, there's no, you know, I just use this to on auto, you know, and I don't need to, I could get a much less expensive camera. But anyway, I'm trying to figure out what to do. You know, I i mentioned this before. This is the FZ200. I purchased uh, from Amazon the FZ300. Had it 28 days and it broke. I've never had a camera ever break before on me. Amazon, of course, is great to do business with. They refunded my money. But then I was afraid to turn around and buy another FZ because I'll, I would always be, uh, excuse me, I'd always be sitting and waiting for it to break again. Although if I bought, uh, when I buy cameras, they've been so dependable. I've never bought an insurance policy with you know for one. But I think from now on I will. After that, but uh, so I've been looking at cell phones. Uh, I'm looking at cameras. I have two ham radios. I'm a ham radio operator. And I never oops I never really use them but they've got some fa these were two inexpensive ham radios which you can finally get nowadays but I would like to have one of the well, I've had some in the past that were state-of-the-art I'd like to have another one but we're talking no oh, minimum three hundred dollars. No, minimum four hundred dollars for one of the really state of the art ham radios. And I don't know if I want to spend the money for something that I don't don't use. Um I think that's let me check this. Oh, I was really upset with Vice President Pence and that crap they pulled of having him deliberately go to a football game so he could deliberately, you know, he told the press, they told the press that travel with the president and the press 
you know, that travels with the vice president. And they told the press to stay in the buses. You know, vice president will probably be out in a few minutes. And then he goes in and pulls that stunt, which cost, what was it, at least a quarter of a, of a million dollars, at least $250,000. And then people are doing some other... Uh, So this is uh, redstate.com, and even they disapproved of, of the vice uh, president's stunt. And they are, this is a site that uh, it's a hate site, really. Their word processing system must be set up. If, uh, if they're typing a story and it's a union official this, or a labor leader, this or whatever, their word processing system automatically change it to, uh, what do they use? Uh, thug, union thug, uh, labor thug. Well, and they hate teachers. They just have their word processing systems. <laughs> That'd be kind of probably a pain in the ass to work there if you were halfway decent person and you're trying to do a story and the, the word, I'm sure they don't have the word processor set up, but it looks like they do. Although recently they they were not, uh, they're extreme right wing, but they did not want Donald Trump. I think they were even surprised that Donald Trump won. If they can do, if they can say something um, good about Donald Trump and it's hard to do they'll they'll try to say it but then they don't hesitate to uh, really uh, viciously attack some of the uh, some of the things but so uh, let me this is my blog I've been blogging since 1982 but uh, I've changed the URL so many times and totally wiped out all of the old um, stories and stuff. That, I mean, the post that I made that uh, I've lost everybody and I actually tried to drive off. I've talked about that before that I actually had hundreds of people coming every day to my blog for the wrong reason. Of course, they didn't stay more than a few seconds, but it just pissed me off eventually. It took a few years, and I finally just changed the URL and uh, just to start over. Well, I started over, and uh, very few people are coming. But this is, TypePad was, started using them in 2003, and I used them until 2012. I don't think that's right. I don't think I used them. That might be an over. I think I because I think I started using WordPress before 2012. Maybe not. Time flies, but uh, the TypePad blog is still there. Although some of the pictures and images are, uh, if you if you go there, you know the, those pictures don't work because they're the links for the sites that. That's another thing. I have so many. We all do so many storage areas. You know, so many storage areas for videos and pictures. And I've forgotten. I paid for some of them. And there was one site that I forget what the name of it was that I put images on, and then I filled up the thing. And then I paid so much a month for extra storage. So then I had pictures going into the extra storage area. And then at some point I just decided when there was Google Photos and all these other things, I just decided I'm not going to pay. And so I canceled the payment while I lost all those pictures. They were mainly pictures. I think I lost all those that were there unless they're out there someplace in the internet world. I had uh, a bunch of storm pictures from... Uh, when I was in Miami, when a hurricane came through, lost a bunch of those pictures. And then when I was living in or Orlando, uh, where we were living on the east side of Orlando, 
in a uh, renting a mobile home, not a very nice one, but and we had really crappy internet service. But every time there was the space shuttle launch, uh, we could there was a lake you could walk down to, and I went down a lot of times and took pictures of it. And this one time, because of the location of the sun, uh, when the space shuttle went up, you could, the sun was glistening listening off of the rockets and I in my pictures that I was taking you could see the rockets as they fell away and whatever and, and I put those pictures there and I didn't have a copy I'm not good at making backups of copies I'm not good at organizing to uh, where I put put things and I can't find things when I when I need them so anyway my poor blog my poor, poor blog. But I did post here a uh, nude swimming in the United States, and this is from TypePad, and this is a blog post that I made years and years and years ago, and uh, I rescued it and brought it over here just for the heck of it. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll try to come back and I'll try to be better organized. I need to get organized better with uh, stuff, so. I think you agree with me on the bullet holes that and the aluminum. Don't you think those are also bullet holes? I'm sure they are. I should have gone in a little closer for, used the uh, micro focus, whatever they call it. Thank you very much for watching.